This is question three on the uh, worksheet number three, and it says C six C six H six, which is also known as benzene. It freezes at five point five degrees Celsius, and uh, we have two hundred grams of the benzene and ten grams of the uh, uh, butanol, uh, butane, not butane, butane. Um, so we would like to find out what is the new what is the new freezing point if we put these two together. Okay, so. Uh, let's write down the equation that we will use first. So the change of temperature of the freezing point is equal to the Wintel factor um, times the freezing point constant and the molality. Okay. Now we would like to find this out. So what is our Wintel factor? Since they are all, they are both covalent compound, and the solute is the covalent compound. So the Wintel factor is going to be one. The freezing point depression constant is given, which I do know, uh, which is here. So we can simply write it here. Okay. And now molality. The we don't have molality. This is not given from the question. But can we find it out? I believe we could. So let's do the molality. Find the molality right here. So remember that molality is the moles of solute over the kilograms of the solvent. So do we have the uh, moles of solute? We have the mass, but not the uh, moles. So we can find out the moles of solute by finding out the uh, molar mass, and we can find out the um, find out the moles. So we have one mole of the butane C4H10, and that will give you 50, uh, 58 grams of butane. And that is 10 divided by 58, 0.172 moles of the uh, butane. And do we have the kilograms of solvent? Well, we have the grams, so we can simply change it to kilograms very easily. So let us put the numbers right here. Point 0.172 is the mole of solute, and the kilograms of solvent is going to be 0.2 kilogram. And if we use calculator, we get 0 0.008. Oh, it's not. Uh, 0.172 divided by 0.2, so it's just 0 0.86. 0 0.8. Six. Well, that, okay. Then we can uh, put it right here. Okay. And we can simply multiply all these together. So the change of the temperature of the freezing point is 4.40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now remember, this is just the change of the freezing points. This is not the new freezing point. In order to find out the new freezing point, we have to calculate. So the new freezing point is, well, the original is 5.5 degrees Celsius. And since it is a freezing point depression, so it is decreased by 4.4 degrees Celsius. So we, might, we subtract. So minus 4.4 degrees Celsius, we have 1.1 degrees Celsius. This is our new freezing point for the solution. Many students would make a mistake that when they get the temperature right here, they stop because they believe that this is the new freezing point. So it is very important that you have your notation written correctly. 
if you have been consistently writing the unit and these terms, you should be able to realize that we are talking about the change. It is just a change of the freezing point. It has nothing to do with the absolute value for the, uh, for the new freezing point. So we have to get that concept right and then we calculate the new freezing point by subtracting from the original freezing point. So this is how you get the answer.